One of the strangest deep sea animals is a, a tube worm. It could be 10 feet long. This is really small. This animal has no mouth, has no gut, has no anus. It's just a bag of bacteria and a gill at the top. These animals live on chemicals in the water that come spewing out of the seafloor. They're toxic to us. Hydrogen sulfide, methane. They have an enzyme called luciferin that shines light uh, in response to some stimulus. This is all outside of the sunlit zone. This is in the deep sea. This is from 6,000 meters and deeper. This is an amphipod. They're normally the size of a flea. We don't know why it is. Some people think that it's the amount of oxygen that they need or require. Some say if you're bigger, it's harder for something to eat you. So gigantism is just one of the many mysteries we have in the deep sea, the things we don't understand. Our discovery rate is so great. We go down there and we find new species every time we go out. At hydrothermal vents alone, we've discovered on average a new species every 10 days for 35 years and we've only explored less than 1% of our deep ocean. So it's an area that is completely mysterious to us and ripe for discovery. Whether it's our deepest living fish or amphipods, they have molecules in their cells that protect proteins. They firm up the cell and make it functional. We have a myriad of diseases like Alzheimer's, muscular dystrophy, that all of are based on protein dysfunction. And if we can harness these enzymes, these molecules, to actually help protein function in humans, then we've solved a lot of diseases, but we haven't looked to these deep sea animals yet to do this. I think that's gonna be the future of what we're gonna be looking at. We have reports in the last two weeks of plastics being eaten by animals in our deepest ocean, the cheapest trenches, 10,000 meters. We're already everywhere before we can learn what's there. We're in a race, we're trying to catch up. We're trying to figure out what are the disturbances that we're causing and what impact does it have on the animals. It's very real and it's happening now. We're seeing dis the distribution of animals shift in the deep ocean. We've got whales that feed at, at over 2,000 meters on the bottom. We've got sharks that go at least 1,000 meters deep. You can't separate the deep sea from us for much longer. We are having an impact. It's all part of an ecosystem that we're a part of. And the sooner we realize that, the better off we'll be as a species.